Chameleons are dependent from their tongue while they feed on insects. And there are some challenges in captivity which you would maybe not even expect. Chameleons have a very special strategy how to feed. Because in general they are quite slow, they have one muscle or a group of muscles in their body capable of tremendous speed. I speak about the muscles of the tongue. The tongue can project for a very long distance and its sticky end grasps the prey. And this young lady of the Usambara two-horned monkey tail chameleons will show us how they do. Once the prey is seized by the tongue, it is transported into the mouth cavity and crushed by the powerful jaws and without too much chewing, swallowed. This is how chameleons feed. Chameleons feed in captivity on a wide variety of feeders, which we make for them available. Mostly as staple food, we use crickets and uh, flying insects like flies. And then uh, there are some conditional uh, food items like grasshoppers or locusts or roaches. And we have some treats uh, of which uh, quite popular is actually the so-called hornworm. The hornworm is not a worm, it is actually a caterpillar of a hawk moth. While the adults, the moths, are very nutritious and good source of food, the uh, hornworms or the caterpillars of them are a little bit problematic because they consist of more than 70% just of water. And they have one feature which is quite tricky and can be quite harmful for chameleons. Hello, Chameleon Care 101. I today wanted to talk to you about a popular snack for chameleons that should be fed occasionally, hornworms. So when you go to the pet store and you buy them, they typically don't tell you how to feed them, which is an unfortunate thing that I had to learn. So when you stick them inside the enclosure, they have these sticky paws on the back. If you can see here, they're hard to pull off once their sticky paws are there. So I'll attach another video where you can see Fiona has shot her tongue at the worm and it pulls her off the branch. So watch what happened. The chameleon shot the tongue on the hornworm and actually get it and swallowed it. But let us see it once again in slow motion. It shot it, but it could not pull it off the branch. So it had to run towards it. And this is the moment when the tongue got injured. And the result of that is her tongue now likely hurts bad and she can't actually use her tongue properly anymore. So it's a fortunate event that um, left her wounded. So. You can see the tongue is injured. It is not capable of being shot for a long distance. It is not controlled in length and direction. And the chameleon is actually forced to feed just grasping the prey with the jaws. In captivity, the same tongue injury can happen if you feed the chameleon holding the insect either in your fingers or in forceps like many people do. In the wild, this would be a death sentence, while in captivity we still can keep this chameleon alive while changing the feeding strategy. So, how do we feed these properly without injury? So, now I've got a little Tupperware of um, calcium powder and my hornworm is inside. Can you see it in there? So I've let him walk around in it for a little bit and his little paws now are coated in dust. Um, so I'm going to give him a good shake in here. Again, this is just calcium. I use Arcadia supplements. So now when we take the little guy out, His sticker pads are super coated in calcium. So then when you put him in the enclosure, it puts a barrier between his sticky paws and the stick. And he can't stick quite as well once his paws are all sticky. So now, if you can see, he comes off a lot easier. But 
best method of choice is always to hand feed them. Here, patiently, been waiting for his treat. Like I said, best way to feed is by hand. Oh, and watch out for the splash zone. So, be very careful once you feed a horse to your chameleon. Never ever feed with forceps or with fingers because you can loosen a little bit later and it will cost the chameleon the health of its tongue. And uh, don't forget to coat every single piece of food with calcium powder. Stay tuned.